LinkedIn is the world's number one social media platform where business professionals hang out from around the world. 80% of B2B leads generated from social media come from LinkedIn. It's time for you to advertise there and we'll show you how. Hello world, Mike Ploger here with VizMe, the greatest marketing tool on the internet to help you advertise on LinkedIn. You've been advertising organically and for free for some time, and don't get me wrong, it can be effective if you're doing it properly. That just might be a big if. What's not as risky? Paying for LinkedIn ads that are sure to reach a larger audience, leading to more leads and an influx of cash. Sure, you'll need a bigger budget for this, and the bigger the budget, the better the results. But if you have the budget and you're ready to get started, you have come to the right place. In this video, we'll show you how to start an advertising campaign in LinkedIn and share some tips along the way that'll lead to a higher ROI. Shall we? As with any big project, you must first do your research. This is especially true if you're working with a team so you can have an understanding of your goals and your purpose. Have you heard of SMART goals? The acronym stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, and Time-bound. By following this acronym, you can clearly write out what you're hoping to accomplish from your LinkedIn ad campaign. You'll immediately set a sense of direction for yourself and for your team, making the process much smoother. While you may think it's unnecessary to clarify these and write them down, well, by doing so now, it's actually going to speed up your work later on and be a helpful guide for you to remember your why. I also recommend creating a user persona of your target audience. We have a video on how to do just that, but to put it very briefly, it's a one sheet of what your target audience looks like, enjoys, struggles with, and more. So you're keeping them front of mind throughout the entire process. Step two is when your creative minds get to come together and, well, create. Start putting together your visual and text material that are needed for the LinkedIn ad campaign. What photos will you use? Any infographics that VizMe can help you build? What ad copy do you need to start writing? How will you incorporate your logo? These are all things that you'll want to consider as you start visualizing what you'll be running in your campaign. Again, think of it from the audience's point of view and what will drive them to click on the ad rather than just scroll past it. Now that you have your marketing material ready, it is time to actually step into the LinkedIn platform. The first thing you should do is create a LinkedIn campaign manager account. If you're the owner of the account, it'll be super easy. However, if you're just an admin for the page, you'll need permission from the owner to go further. Once you're squared away there, the ad campaign journey begins. From there, you'll be asked which of the three campaign objectives you want to choose from. There's awareness, consideration, or conversions. This is a good time where it's useful to have those step one notes you worked on when clarifying your purpose. The awareness objective is simple. You're looking to spread the word and build awareness around your company, product, event, or whatever you're advertising. With events, you can share and notify employees to do the same so more people interact and engage with it. The consideration objective is hoping for a small step further than awareness. You're hoping for someone to actually click on the ad and engage with your company. Your audience acknowledges that, you know what, you might have something that they actually want. And then there's conversions. This is taking those who are curious and turning them into actual customers. This is great for lead generation, website conversions, or even job applications. Think about it, pair it with your marketing material, and then continue on to step five. LinkedIn will have three more options when it comes to who you want to target. Another good time to have your research handy. Your options are by location, audience attributes, or you can go fully custom. Location is simply where someone is in the world. Perhaps this is good if you're advertising a farmer's market or a food truck. Audience attributes looks at a person's job, what they do, their interests, and interactions. These are all things that should be noted in your user persona. The third option, matched audiences, is a fully customizable list from your data that pulls in a new audience. 
This could be a specific contact list and then LinkedIn will pull in others that are similar to those contacts. It's a matter of how precise you want to get with your targeting or if you're just looking to reach as large of an audience as possible. You have a lot of options when it comes to determining what ad format you want to use. There's single image ads, video ads, text ads, carousel ads, sponsored ads, dynamic ads, and well, are you still following? Obviously, if you want views, you want a video ad. You should want video content anyway, considering it's the number one type of consumed content on social media. For brand awareness, a single image, text, or dynamic ad would do the trick. A dynamic ad changes according to the audience seeing them. Personalize your ads on a deeper level as best as you can. With sponsored ad content, you can boost an organic post or create a new one inside the campaign manager. Or there's direct sponsored content that doesn't require you to post on your own page. All right, time to talk money. When considering your budget, you'll need to think of it as either daily, continuous, or lifetime. How much you spend is all about how many people will see the ad. Once you decide how much you want to spend, it's time to set a schedule. You can pick specific dates or a time frame you want your ad to run with specific start and stop points. Obviously, the more days, the higher the cost. Ready, set, launch. Hit the scary button and rest assured that you took the proper steps to help your business thrive. Though the work isn't completely done yet, you'll want to monitor the success of your ads continuously. Take notes, try new things with future ads, and stick to what works best. You should be optimizing your ads all the time. Make the copy relevant, follow design trends, try new audiences, then rinse, recycle, and repeat. And it doesn't end with just optimizing your ads. Your page needs to be fully optimized as well. Make sure your visual identity is front and center. Consider your brand and make sure all imagery and text matches the persona that you're going for. Is your headline attention grabbing for any newcomers for your page? The connection between your ads and page is essential for a successful campaign. Before we wrap up, I wanted to leave you with a couple simple suggestions. Besides, those of you who have watched the entire video to this point should be rewarded. Set up your ad campaign at least 48 hours prior to it actually running. This way you can make any necessary adjustments if necessary. Start with an organic strategy on your page first. It lays a good foundation. Have four to five ads in rotation once you're ready for it. Set each to target a different audience so you're not limiting yourself. And lastly, leverage the brand lift feature to create detailed A-B tests. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching and learning with us. Don't forget when it comes to your marketing material, Visme has the designs for you. Single images, text images, video templates, Visme makes it easy for you to create professionally designed graphics that you can use in your ad campaigns right away. Please like this video if you have an extra 0.5 seconds and maybe even subscribe if you have a full second to spare and want to continue to learn more with us. With Visme, I'm Mike Ploger, helping you make information beautiful.